Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP, and today we're bringing you uh, part 7 of the Abandoned Repeater Site Project. And as you can see here, uh, our club president, uh, AC4DM, got some lumber and built a nice sturdy uh, table to uh, workbench to use in the, uh, in the comms uh, shed here. Very similar to what we have at our other primary site. And, you know, you always need some flat surfaces to, uh, to work on things, lay things down occasionally, and so forth. So, uh, put this, uh, this workbench together. We brought it up to the site here. You can see uh, uh, Steve KK4YUG up there and the chainsaw. Uh, cut down some more trees, as we'll see here in a bit. Just continuing to do as much work as we can while we still have uh, really some nice weather. Nice fall weather. But it's going to be getting cold. Uh, the ground's going to be getting hard. The tower is going to be getting dangerous to climb on before too much longer. So while we can uh, make hay while the sun shines, we are endeavoring to do so. So uh, making lots of trips up uh, to this site. It's a little ways away from uh, headquarters especially to, uh, again, get as much work done as we can uh, at this site and try to get things back online before the worst of winter uh, gets here, uh, we'll probably end up having to continue tree removal and things like that uh, in the spring once it warms up again. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to all of that uh, this uh, this season. Things start to get a bit busy as we are getting into the holiday season here as well, of course, uh, and with some of the other things that have been going on this year, as we all know. So uh, we uh, loaded up some uh, vehicles, uh, went up to uh, to the site up there, uh, got the workbench, uh, put it into the, uh, the uh, shed, as you'll see here in a moment. And also began, uh, again, trimming some more trees that we'll see here. Um, and also doing some work uh, on the tower itself. Again, while we've got some fairly decent days still, we've been wanting to get up on this tower. So part of what we're seeing here, see the really, really thick, heavy black cables, the hard line. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. At least two inch, two and a half inch, uh, I don't think it's three inch hard line. We'll be getting to that again in a minute as well uh, with some pictures and talking about what we're doing there. But we got our new uh, uh, workbench installed into the shed. <clears throat> We've got a temporary table that we had set up there to use for a couple things. It's an old uh, army style breakdown table. And those come in very handy because uh, they, uh, they just kind of uh, have wing nuts and, and break down. And there's no loose parts to miss. Now here's just kind of a pan of the inside of the uh, shed as we currently have it. We had the electrical work that we did uh, while I was still at headquarters. And we moved the uh, uh, rack with the uh, uh, two meter repeater and so forth out there. Now I had a slight setback. Uh, the two meter repeater was receiving great. Uh, it's a good location up on this, uh, on this big hill uh, with this 140 foot tower. Uh, but our transmitter... Uh, something's going on with our transmitter. It was putting out an extremely weak signal. So, uh, back to Bridgecom it goes uh, under warranty repair. And so, uh, we'll look forward to getting that back and getting it back up there. Uh, again, getting the site uh, on the air uh, before the worst of winter gets here, uh, uh, certainly, hopefully. Uh, but again, getting the shack ready to go. We have heat that we can, uh, we can have on, just like our main site. Of course, the air conditioner you can see right there over... Uh, uh, Brian's shoulders, KY4BDP. Uh, so continuing to do work uh, on the shed itself, making it uh, easier to use. Uh, there's going to be other equipment that will be moving to this location. We're looking to have several different uh, uh, bands available. Uh, two meters is going to be uh, kind of the primary, but uh, 70 centimeters, uh, probably six meters, maybe 10 meters. Probably gonna have at least three or four things going on. And part of that is going to entail, uh, as we'll see here coming up uh, later in the video, uh, work on the tower itself. Now, this site was originally put in place a long time ago, uh, probably over 20 years ago. 
for a telco paging system. And that's where some of that old hardline and stuff, that's when that was put in place. Because, uh, you know, with those kinds of projects, budget is no op uh, no obstacle. And it was taken over for ham use, uh, I know, at least 15 years ago, something like that. Uh, and then our club got it uh, uh, 15 years ago or, or a pretty good while ago uh, and adapted it over. So there's a lot of uh, uh, old antennas on this tower, uh, some of which were our previous antennas from about a year ago. And then uh, there's a lot of old cabling. There's that really thick hard line. There's also some, some like one inch hard line. Now some of those lines are uh, are probably still good. We're gonna uh, we've done a little bit of testing. We're gonna continue doing some testing. And if there's some some of that uh, that hard line that's still good uh, that you know already is is strung up the tower, uh, we'll leave it there and, and we'll reuse it for some of our antennas. But there's probably three or four antennas, uh, maybe more, that may come off the tower. Uh, all the really big hard line and, and one run of that that big hard line goes all the way to the top of the tower. Another run uh, goes probably three quarters, two thirds to the top of the tower. Uh, so uh, as you'll see, we've begun to, to cut that and take that down. Uh, the rest of it, again, we'll be testing some stuff. And if it's uh, still test out good, still has good SWR, we'll keep it. If not, we're going to take it down and we, you know, we'll string up some fresh uh, coax to, uh, to the antennas we're going to uh, keep up there and, and continue to use. Uh, we also, as you'll see here in a moment, had some chainsaw, uh, chainsaw out there, uh, took out some more trees. So the reason we're cutting down so many trees is, again, over the last, say, 20 years, a lot of junk trees have grown up on this property, and the property owner who we're working with, uh, they don't really care about these junk trees. Uh, when you go out there, they're not really that big. You know, they're only six inches, maybe eight inches in diameter. A lot of pine trees, uh, you know, fairly fast-growing trees, uh, and they don't care about those trees. Uh, there is some some older uh, hardwoods and things out there. We're not touching any of those, but um, uh, and they're going to be getting out here with a bulldozer and, and clearing a lot of the, the this property. Uh, uh, probably in the spring, but for our guidelines, there's there's three you know uh, sets of guidelines. We've started to cut away the trees away from the guidelines for this tower, which uh, again we have permission to do this, and um, we still have some work to do there. Now this is a, a picture from Wikipedia of the the hard line that I'm talking about. This is the that big thick cabling that we saw in the earlier picture, and, and you'll see it again coming up. Uh, this is what this stuff looks like. It has that really hard outer plastic sheath, uh, a, a big uh, copper tube uh, that's kind of corrugated, the inner uh, uh, insulator, you know, dielectric foam, and then the hollow corrugated inner copper tube. Uh, and this stuff, it's, uh, uh, it's very stiff, right? It's very strong. And this is what was used on this tower from the original Telco project. Uh, again, it was a, a paging system or, or something. And, of course, they just left that stuff behind. It wasn't worth taking it off the tower. And there's, as you've seen, and you'll see it again, there's some big loops of it on the ground, and they just left all that there. And it's not really uh, something we can use easily these days for our usage. Uh, you know, the ends that you would have to put on this stuff are probably 100 150 bucks a piece, and it's just not what we would use today. Now, the one-inch hard line, and we'll get some close-ups of that in a future video, I'm sure, Again, we're going to test some some of the other lines that are that are strung up the tower, and if they're okay, we'll reuse as much as we can. But if we're not going to use it, we want to take the time, and we'll probably finish some of this up in the spring. But we want to take the time and get as much off the tower as we can. If it's not going to be used, we want to get it off of there these days. Uh, any antennas, get them off, and either recycle them, reuse them. Uh, they probably have a couple that need refurbishment. Uh, at our other site, we did the the two meter and the seventy centimeter both, although they still worked. When we brought them down, they were in really rough shape, uh, and we knew the two meter had had uh, cracked and was starting to have some problems. I suspect some of the antennas on this tower may be in the same boat, so we'll probably need to pull them down, check them out, make sure they're in good shape. Uh, and again, in the meantime, we're beginning to take off as much of the uh, the old cabling, especially this really big hard line, as we can. Uh, again, you'll see uh, uh, a picture coming up. So, again, that was the original uh, Vietnam-era communication shack that uh, the company had put up there that we just sort of took over. Uh, again, even that was, I don't know, 15 years ago or something. Uh, but it leaks like a sieve, uh, not very well insulated, uh, and not all that secure. Uh, so we decided to, <laughs> if you'll excuse the pun, we decided to abandon 
uh, that building. Once we got back onto this site, and there was about quite a year, eight months, ten months, uh, where we didn't have access because of uh, 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 the ownership uh, change. The, the the father had passed away, and the son son took over. It took us a while to to get with uh, with the son and and uh, set up another contract uh, for a lease on the property and everything. Uh, but we just decided we're not going to going to use this this trailer anymore. We had put the, that that bright white rubberized coating on the top. We had done some things to that, put in some new new uh, uh, electrical, similar to what you've seen us do in these other shacks. But uh, we just felt it, was, it really wasn't worth continuing with this and putting time and money and effort into it. Uh, when buying the new shed that we did was not that bad. I think those kinds of sheds. I think we got that one for. I don't know, twelve hundred dollars or 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 something, and it's much better than the stuff you typically get at a big box store. Uh, it's uh, insulated and uh, uh, they're they're very strong, very nice sheds. Uh, we we have several of those, and we use one for the other repeater site. So you can see that hard line, that bit, there's several coils of it there. You can see the two big runs going up to the tower. We've already begun to cut that off, uh, and we're going to continue cutting those off. Uh, and then there's several other runs, the one-inch hard lines and some other stuff. We're, we'll check all that out. Uh, if it's not working, if it's not going to be used, it's coming down. We want to clean up this tower and get only the stuff on there that's in active use uh, by our club these days. So since we have a, uh, a good tower monkey, we're going to take advantage of, uh, of that. So we're clearing trees away from our guy lines, away from the site. We're, we're cleaning up some of the trash. Uh, a lot more of that work will continue uh, next spring. Like I say, the owner wants to get out there with a bulldozer and really <laughs> tackle the junk. Uh, they've already moved about 10 car car bodies. Uh, this is uh, KY4 BDP. Brian, he uh, got up on the tower this day. It, it, it was a cool day, especially when we first started. But he got up to around 60, 61. So it was actually a pretty nice day. It was dry. So uh, he had his belt and uh, got up on the tower. And we just began cutting that really thick hard line in uh, in uh, six or eight foot chunks we would just cut it and and take it down because in, in its entire length of the tower uh it would be very heavy and unwieldy and dangerous to try to cut all the the uh the connectors free and, and let it you know fall to the ground like that as one length so we're cutting it off in, in sort of six or eight foot chunks uh, and he got quite a bit of that of one of the runs done that day uh, again, we'll continue that work, and we'll probably finish some of this stuff up again in the spring. You can see one of the many uh, little antennas there. Uh, you know, we had a lot of things that, that uh, this site was used for in the last 15 or 20 years. Once ham radio took over, uh, it may have been up here for 25 or 30 years. I don't know when the telco project went in. But, uh, uh, again, there's six or eight antennas on it right now. And we may end up, uh, we may take them all off, but we probably will only end up with three or four once we get our uh, uh, particular projects up there. Uh, and then maybe one or two more for some specialized things that we might try to do in that area. This part of the, uh, in this county, uh, this is probably 30, 30 or more miles, 40 miles from where our main repeater site is across the lake. And the, the main repeater site, although it does really good, that's about its limit. And so this serves a lot of people. This site has always served a lot of people. And we want to get it back up and running, uh, reaching down into uh, you know to some of the northern parts of Tennessee. And, and it, it has a good coverage as well because it's a pretty good size hill. And again, this is a 140-foot tower. Our main site's a 100-foot tower. And it's on a pretty decent hill as well. In fact, there's a commercial antenna not far from this one, just like there is at our other site, because it's a good hill. And that's why these commercial projects go into them. So that's some of the work we did. Some more uh, tree trimming. Here, uh, KY4 BDP Brian was just showing off the view. Now, he only got up about maybe three-fifths up the tower. I don't know if he was two-thirds or not. There's that commercial tower that's nearby. Uh, doesn't seem to bother anything. Now, it was such a beautiful day, we decided to have a cookout. We brought hot dogs and a little uh, grill. Uh, KK4YUG brought his little grill. And we had a nice little cookout. Of course, once you've done some hard work like that, uh, food always tastes good. I uh, had some homemade cookies uh, that uh, WM4LM uh, uh, baked up for us and just some chips and things. Nice little cookout. Uh, again, it ended up being a really a beautiful fall day. And we got, uh, again, a lot of good work done. Cleared some more trees off another uh, guy line set. Uh, started to get rid of that hard line stuff. Got our, our workbench installed. Picked up the repeater to send it in for repair. Um, and these are extra days. These are extra days. Now, we have uh, 
official work days twice a month, one for the main repeater site, one for this site, uh, or, or for projects, depending on the weather. Uh, not every club does that. We already had those, but we're putting in a lot of extra work days just to help get things done. Uh, if you have the extra time, that's a nice thing to offer your time and, and labor to your club. So this is Chris, KY4CKP. We'll wrap it up for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association 73.